Hello students, I welcome you in today's session of physics and in physics I am going to present the image form in a pair of mirrors. This is the topic of your chapter reflection of light through a plane mirrors. Clear? In our previous lecture that is the lecture number one, I uh, we have discussed most of the topics and now today's lecture, this is the lecture two, we will discuss about the image form in two inclined mirrors. So for an object kept in between the two planes mirrors we get many images of the objects so this is because the light ray after reflection from one mirror fall on the other mirror in other words the image formed by one mirror act as an object for the other mirror clear and this continue till no more reflection or any mirror can occur so the images and the objects will lie on the circumference of the circle with center at the points of intersection of the two mirrors and the radius equal to the distance of object from the point of intersection. Now the number of images which are formed depends upon the angle between the two mirrors. So if the two mirrors make an angle theta with each other and the object is placed in between the two mirrors, so we can write it the number of image form is equal to 360 by theta or 360 by theta minus 1 such that n is always an odd integer that is not fraction. Now here it is an example given if the angle between the two mirrors is 60 degree so the number of images is how much 360 by theta minus 1 you can write it that is 5 images will be formed fine now but if theta is 72 degree then in place of theta you can write it 72 so you will get the 5 that is the 5 image will be formed. So this can be verified by the actual drawing you can see here. We shall now consider the two special cases. The first one when the two mirrors are parallel to each other. The second one when the two mirrors are perpendicular to each other. Now we will discuss about the image form in a pair of mirrors which are placed parallel to each other. So when the two mirrors, this one, are kept parallel to each other that is theta is equal to how much? 0 degree the number of images of an object kept in between the two mirrors will be how much n is equal to 360 by theta minus 1 or you can say that I like it infinite. So thus when the mirror are kept parallel to each other an infinite number of images are formed for an object kept in between them. Clear? Now I will show you the figure number 12.24 in this figure AM and BM1 are the two planes mirrors which are placed parallel to each other. So an object P is placed in between them and the image of P formed by the reflection from the mirror AM is where I1 and by the reflection from the mirror BM is at I dash. <coughs> now the ray diagram for the formation of image that is I dash is not shown. So now I dash act as the virtual object for the mirror BM1 and the image that is I2 is formed similarly I act as the virtual object for the mirror and AM and the image I double dash is formed in this manner many images are formed but brightness of the remote images goes on decreasing because at each reflection some light is absorbed does not more <laughs> then few images are seen you can see here this is the figure we are talking about from this figure so from this figure so the ray diagram for the formation of one set of images that is only I1, I2 and I3 so the formation of other set of images that is I and I double dash can be similarly obtained. And what is the uses? So the mirror in a showroom and in a barber shop are arranged in this manner. So what happened? It may be noted that a thick plane pane mirrors also forms a multiple number of images on the same principle due to the reflection from the front surfaces and the back reflecting surface. So out of these, the second image formed due to the reflection from the backening reflecting surface of the thick mirror is the brightest. Now the image formed by the two mirrors which are placed perpendicular to each other. So uh, this one, so when the two mirrors are kept perpendicular to each other, that is theta how much? 90 degree. Then for an object which are placed in between them of the two mirrors, the number of images formed will be equal to how much? 3. Thus, if two mirrors are kept perpendicular to each other, three images are formed for an object which is kept in between them. Uh, you, will, you can see here, this is the perpendicular uh, image of the two mirrors. Fine. Now, what's going on here? OA, AO and OB are the two plane mirrors which are kept mutually perpendicular to each other. Now, suppose 
be an object in between the two mirrors. So the image of the object P formed by the reflection from the mirror OB is P2 and by the reflection from the mirror OA is how much P1. So figure this one shows the ray diagram for the formation of the image P2 only. Now the image P2 acts as the virtual object for a mirror OA. Now since the rays after reflection from the mirror OB fall on the mirror OE. So from uh, for this image form by the mirror OA is P3. Similarly, P1 acts as the virtual object for the mirror OB since the rays after reflection from the mirror OA fall on the mirror OB. They are not shown in the figure. So for the image formed by the mirror OB is P4 which is the same point P3 that is the image P4 of P1 in mirror OB overlap with the image P3 of P2 in the mirror. So as such three images of the objects are formed in this case. So here you can see in this figure ray diagram for the formation of images P2 and P3 is shown. Similarly we can draw the ray diagram for the formation of the images P1 and P4. So geometrically it can be seen that the images P1, P2, P3 and the object P they are all lie on the circle whose center is O. Fine. Now we will discuss what are the uses of plane mirror. This is the important one. So the plane mirrors find wide applications in our daily life. Some of the applications of the plane mirrors are given below. The first one as a looking glass and the second one in the optician's room to increase the effective length of the room by keeping a plane mirror on the front wall and the signboard on the opposite wall behind the patient. So for the patient the signboard is at the double length of the room. The third one in the barber shop for seeing the hair at the back of the head the two mirrors facing each other are fixed on the opposite walls at the front of the back of the viewer. The fourth one in a periscope the two plane mirrors each inclined at 45 degree with the vertical and facing each other are kept parallel to each other. The fifth one in a kaleidoscope three plane mirrors inclined with each other at 60 degree are used. The sixth one in the solar heating devices such as solar cookers etc plane mirror is used to reflect the light ray which is incident from the sun on the substance to be heated. Fine. Now we will discuss what is the simple periscope. So what is the periscope? It is an instrument which is used for looking over the heads of a crowd by raising it above the obstacle or for observing the enemy movement from the trenches without being seen. It is also being used in submarines for observing the movement of other ships. So in general a periscope can be used to see an object which is not directly seen due to certain obstacle. Now if we talk about the principle of periscope. So what is the principle? So it is based on the principle of reflection at the two parallel plane mirrors facing each other and each kept inclined at an angle of 45 degree with each other. You can see here this is the figure of periscope. Clear? So I am not going into the de uh, deep to describe the construction. You can read it by yourself and if you still feel any doubt you can ask me in the comment section. So students you can see here I hope this is the end of the chapter and why I, what I taught you I hope you understand it very well. So thank you students. Thank you very much.